stretch. Tonight, all you're going to need is a set of weights, heavier light, your choice, and a slider or an object that you can use to slide with as we'll be using it for many different exercises. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. So we're gonna change it up just a little bit tonight, today. So go ahead and pull your chest and your knee to your chest. Knee to chest, looking good. Good. Now heel to hip. Now this is a low impact, no impact, so we're not actually doing cardio tonight. We're going to be, or today, we're moving through the circuit though pretty quickly. So there's not much time to recover in between sets. So this is great for anybody who's apartment living right now doesn't want their neighbors to hear them. Beautiful, straight leg up in front. Beautiful. Awesome. So now for our front lunge today. Go ahead and take a big front lunge and rotate over the leg that's in front. Press it back. Just warming up those obliques as we're going to be challenging them today. Two more. Last one. Good. We're now going to go into our single leg deadlift. So I'm standing on my right, just gonna reach tip as far as works for me for six. Keeping that back flat, chest pressed out. That's three, four, five, and six. Now six on the other side. One side may be more wobbly than the other. Two, three, just warming up those hamstrings as we have some hamstring work coming our way. Four, five, and six, beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a big lunge to the right, shift it over to the left. Side to side. Good. Three more on each side. One. Two. Three. Beautiful. All right. As I mentioned before, you are going to need your slider, so have it close by whatever you're using. But for our very first exercise, we don't. We're going into a bear plank. So, bear plank means that my hands are under my shoulders and my knees are directly under my hips. We're gonna do a lateral walk over to the other side. We're gonna flip and go into a break dancer on each side and walk ourselves back. So that looks like this. I'm gonna walk down, I'm gonna flip, Toe tap, toe tap, bring it right back over, bear plank back. All right, we are going down and back as one, and we have five of those. So here we go, ready to get started. No breaks for whew, probably the next 15 minutes. Let's go, bear plank, side. And we're only going about the length of our mat. Flip, break dance, break dance, flip it back over. Good. Flip, break dance, break dance. Right back over. Flip, break dance, break dance. Beautiful. Flip, I'm always turning to the outside. 
That's two. Three more to go. Opening up. Break dance. Break dance. Flipping it over. Good. That's three. Keep going. Flip. Break dance. Break dance. Beautiful. Using your core. Break dance. Break dance. Last one down and back. Break dance. Break dance. Beautiful. Here we go. Very last one. Flip it. Reach. Reach. And rest. Beautiful. Go ahead and stand up. Grab your slider. You just need one. So, I'm going to have the slider on my left leg to start. I'm going to go into a reverse lunge, dropping it down, forward, front lunge, all right? Reverse lunge, front lunge, 10, then we'll do the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Reverse lunge, front lunge. Just slide on through. If you want it harder, you can stay down in that lunge. It's really up to you. Three. Four. Five. 90 degrees is what we're going for. Six, but listen to your body. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. Other side. Should feel that burn accumulating. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge, front lunge. Reverse lunge, front lunge. That's two. Three, four, five, six, drop it back, seven, good job, eight, Nine, ten, good, all right, laying down on your back with your weights, remember I mentioned you needed weights, so you need one slider and both weights. We are going to lay down on our backs, we have single leg bridge and chest press, so when my arms are down, so I'm going to first bridge up. When my arms are down, that means my leg is extended. And then when I press up, my leg comes in. So it's wide and press. All right, here we go. Have your heel on your slider. We have 15 per side. In three, two, one. Let's go bridge up. Extend long. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold that bridge, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, really pull, 14, and 15, good. Bring your booty down, switch to the other side. Here we go, bridging up, extend that leg out for one, two, three, four, 
bridge up. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold that bridge. Nine. Good job. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Beautiful. You need just one weight now and one slider. We are going to a renegade row position and I'm actually going to use my carpet. It's a little easier for the slide. Alright, so I'm going to renegade row on my right, with my uh, right hand right now. So I'm going to renegade row and as I do, I need drive in. All right, we have 15 per side. So as I lift up on the right, my left knee comes in. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, awesome. Now flip around, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Knee drive and row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. We're back to the top. So we are back to that bear crawl. It's bear plank. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Flip. Break dance, break dance. Flip, break dance, break dance. Good, that's one. Beautiful, keep going. At your own pace. Don't worry about sticking with me. You might be faster than me. That's two. Good. Keep going, just keep that booty up. Those knees under the hips. Good, that's three. Keep moving. That's four. Booty is out of the air. We're doing that bear plank all the way back. Flip it. Break dance, and good. All right, back to those lunges. Here we go. Reverse lunge, front lunge for 10. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, other side. Here we go, reverse it first. One. Two. Nice deep lunges, three. Four. Back 
on your backs. And I'm also going to do my back carpet. So it slides just a little better than my mat. All right, here we go. 15 bridges per side with that press. All right, bridge up, extend leg long, pull it in, press up. One, two, three, keep the booty up. Four, five, really pull that heel to butt. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, lower the booty, switch your feet, here we go, in 3, 2, 1, lift up, extend it out, let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, awesome. Set one down, that renegade row with the knee drive. Starting with the row on my right, knee drive on my left, into that plank. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, squeeze, thirteen. 14, 15, awesome. Other side. Left hand, right leg. In three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the shoulder. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. This is your chance to grab a quick drink, towel off. We're moving on to some new moves. All right. We're next going into a side plank with one weight. No slider necessary for this one. All right, so unless you have a wrist issue, I want a straight arm side plank. You're gonna go into your straight arm side plank, press, press twice, set it down, switch to the other side, twice. All right, we got this, right? We got this. Easy peasy. We have eight per side. So here we go. I'm going to grab it with my left, going up on my right side first. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, set it down, switch sides. One, two. One, two. One, two, that's two. Good job. Push. Push. Awesome. Keep rotating. That's three. Four. We're halfway there. Nice and controlled. Awesome. Five, we're halfway, or a little over halfway, I should say. Remember, we can always modify down onto our knee if we need to. Six. 
Keep going. Seven, one more on each side. And finish strong. Eight, awesome. All right, if you have lighter weights, grab them. Like for me, these 15s are gonna be too heavy. So grab lighter weights if you have them. We are holding a stationary lunge. So right foot in front. I'm going to front raise, open wide, bring it back down, all right? So quick towel off. So 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Here we go. Drop it down, raise it up. Wide, one, core pulled in, two, three, squeeze those shoulder blades back in together, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and 12, good. Switch to the other side. Left foot in front, right foot behind, drop it down. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12, good, awesome. All right, coming down to your mat. Give myself a little more space. All right, down to your mat. Arms above head, legs long. You are going to sit up. Extend one, bring it back, all the way down, up. Extend the other one, bring it back, okay? We have 20 sit-ups total. We're gonna start by extending out the right leg first. Here we go. And three, and two, and one. Let's go all the way up, right leg out. Back, down, up, left leg. Back, down, that's one or two, Full ones. Good. Keep going. So that's six. Good. Eight. Ten. So we're halfway there. And we just did the wrong leg, sorry guys. It's all right, <laughs> get that caught up with you. We're at 12, that's 14, 16, pulling those abs, 18, one more on each side. And 20, good. All right, we are going to a straight arm plank. You need your one heavier weight, or whatever weight you have, really works. We are holding a plank and doing a bicep curl. So, you're holding your straight arm plank from your knees or your toes, bicep curl, just like that. We have 12 per side. You can do this, 12 per side. So I'm planking with my right hand down first, Bicep curling on my left. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. You can always do this on an elevated surface. Six to make it easier. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. Set it down. Switch hands. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome. We are back to the top. Give those wrists just a moment. Take a quick towel off. We go back to that side plank with a press. Here we go. We go in three. We go in two. We go in one. Let's go. Good. Remember, we have eight per side. That's one. Come on. Two. Three. Good. Five more to go. Four. You're at the halfway mark. These are doing great. Come on. Six. Don't stop now. Don't quit. You got this. Push through the discomfort. Seven. Come on. Finish strong. And eight. Awesome. Grab those lighter weights if you have them. We go to the lunge. Here we go. Right leg in front. Drop it down. Front raise. Reverse fly. One. Two. Three. Move my carpet. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Other side. Left foot in front. Drop it down. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. Good job, good job. All right, moving on to those sit ups. Here we go. Remember, if sitting all the way up isn't accessible to you, just do a crunch, keeping your low back on the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one. All the way up, right leg out, back down. Left leg out, back down. I'm only counting to 10 this time, which means I'm counting once we complete both sides. That's two. Three. Really extend it out. Four. Nice and controlled on the way down. Try not to collapse. That was five. Six. Four more. Or eight, depending on how you're counting. Good. Seven. If you want it harder, don't let those feet touch the ground. Do a hold each time. Oops. One more on each side. Last one. Beautiful. All right. We have that plank with the bicep curl. This is it. Then we go into our stretch. Challenge yourselves. 
Do as much as you can for as long as you can. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Good job, you guys. You did it. You finished the first 30 minutes. Now we get to go into our stretch. Grab a quick drink, towel off as we bring the soles of our feet together. Good. Now, the soles of your feet may be further out, that may be closer in, doesn't matter. As long as you're feeling stretched through the hips, the inner thighs. All right. Take a big breath in, let it all out. Reach forward with your body, applying a slight pressure to the knees. Big breath in, all the way out. A little deeper pressure. Stay here for two breaths. And then we're gonna go even deeper. On this next breath, big breath in. All the way out, pressing even further, deeper into the stretch, two big breaths here, one more, and then this last big breath, go as deep as you can, letting it all out, folding as far forward as your body will allow, two breaths. Good, slowly come up out of that. Awesome. So go ahead now, and you're going to windshield wiper your legs side to side. Just giving the hips a little chance to open up. Two more. One more. Awesome. Go ahead, extend one leg out. So let's go left leg out. Right foot over, hugging that knee to chest. Staying relatively tall in our spine. We're not hunched over, hugging down on the knee, but instead staying tall. Good. You're here for two more breaths. One more. Good. Shake it out for just a second. And the other side. Staying tall. Pulling that knee in. Four big breaths. Two more. Good, one more. Awesome. Go ahead and lay on down. Assuming you don't have any neck issues right now, we're actually going to go to our feet all the way over. So you're gonna roll up and over, just allowing that low back to open up a little bit. That mid back. Make sure you're not putting too much strain on your spine, on your neck, cervical spine. You can have your hands for support or down, whatever works best for you. 
One more big breath here. Good, and slowly lower yourself down using your abs nice and controlled until your feet are straight up in the air. Good, go ahead and cross right knee over left. Let both feet drop down. Pull from your shins, ankles, or feet in towards your body, towards your chest. And breathe. You should feel this in your glute on the right side. Two more breaths. Making sure your shoulders are not up next to your ears. Beautiful, both feet up in the air. Cross the other one, left in front of right. Grab ankles or shins. Thinking about your breathing and nothing else. Last breath. Uncross the feet. Let the left leg go down to the floor, either bent or straight. Go ahead and grab behind the, the right hamstring, calf or ankle, wherever is best for you, and give a slight pull so that we get a stretch through the hamstring. Now while you're here, go ahead and roll your right ankle around. First clockwise, then switch counterclockwise. Good, relax the foot. Give a slight pull in. Now press into your hands so you're engaging the muscle and relax. You'll get a little bit deeper stretch. We're going to do that two more times. Press into your hands and release. One more time, press into your hands and release. Beautiful. Hold here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Good, if your left leg is straight, bend it, bring your right ankle across your left knee, lift up in your, between your legs and grab onto your left thigh. Go ahead and pull your knee towards your chest, or your thigh towards your chest. Figure four stretch. And breathe. Two more breaths. Last one. Awesome. Release your hands, release your feet to the ground. Go ahead and put the right leg either straight or bent. Your choice left leg up in the air, reaching behind that thigh so we can go into a hamstring stretch on the left side. Left leg is much tighter than my right. That is normal to have one side tighter than the other. But we are going to do that active release technique on this side as well. So we're going to press into our hands and release in three, two, one. Press, press, press. Really press into your hands and release, pulling it a little closer to your chest. You're going to press again in three, two, one. One, press, 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 and release. We'll have one more of those in three, two, one. Press, 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 and release. Awesome. In this final pull, go ahead and rotate the ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, switch directions. Good. 
Cross that left ankle over the right knee. Lift up, thread your left hand through, grab a hold to the back of your right thigh, and pull knee towards chest. And breathe. Good job. Two more big breaths. One more. Good, release the hands. Bring the right foot down and across the feet. Once both feet are on the ground and both legs are bent, go ahead and bring those knees up to tabletop. Hands slightly out to the side, drop your knees side to side. So windshield wiper them again, another variation. Side to side, this time to open up the low back. To get us ready to go into that spinal twist. We'll do one more on each side. Awesome, all right. So, both feet on the ground. Go ahead and extend, I'm gonna scoop back up my mat. Go ahead and extend your right leg long. Pull your left knee to your chest. Using that right hand, you're gonna pull your knee across as you extend the left arm out. Look out towards your left hand to a nice, gentle spinal twist. Keeping that left shoulder intact with the ground. We don't want it rolling up. If it is, untwist yourself a little bit. Two more breaths. One more breath. Beautiful. And twist, coming back to center, extending left leg long, pulling right knee to chest, extending right arm out, using the left to pull the knee across and looking out towards your fingertips on your right hand. Just breathe. One more breath here. Awesome. All right, untwist. Come on up, flip on over. We're gonna go through a few cat cows and then from there, We'll go into a little happy baby and our hip flexors. So go ahead, rounding through the spine, pressing up strong shoulders, pulling the abs in, and then releasing the other direction, allowing the belly to drop, the head to come up slightly, and repeat. So that tailbone is tucking down and under. You're really feeling all the space in your back, between your ribs, and switch. Do a couple more at your own pace. Maybe moving side to side, maybe rotating around a little bit, figuring out what feels right for you today, depending on how much you were seated all day, how long you've been sitting. One more. Awesome. You're gonna spread your feet apart. We're gonna sit on back. We're gonna walk, uh, once you sit on down, you're gonna walk your hands as far forward as you can. So we're getting a stretch both through our low back but also through our lats, these big muscles here on the side. Just relaxing into that stretch. 
dropping the shoulders away from the ears. One more big breath here. Awesome. Walk your hands to the left so your, your legs aren't moving, your lower half's not moving. All you're doing is walking your hands, and you should really feel if you keep your right hip glued down, your booty as close to your feet as possible, you should really feel a stretch on that right side body. Two more breaths. One more. Beautiful, walking your hands to the other side. So now you're really stretching through the left side of your body. Keep your left booty down as close to the heel of your foot as you can. Two more. One more. Awesome, walk back to center. Good, from there, go ahead and come up. We're gonna go into pigeon pose. Again, if this is not accessible for you on the floor, you're welcome to do it on a couch, a chair, a bed, an elevated surface. We're gonna cross that right foot in front. You're welcome to stay up in your pigeon. You can drop down onto your elbows or you can relax forehead all the way down to the ground. We're gonna be here for four to five long breaths. Remember, you can always put something to support you underneath your right hip, whichever side is currently crossed. Two more. Allow your body to really sink into it. Beautiful. From there, you're gonna come up into a seated position where you're gonna keep your, that uh, right leg still crossed and you're going to bend the left. So now, I've moved my right foot, or as close as you can, to the inside of my left thigh. My left foot is behind me. We're just going to go into another little twist here. So I'm going to work my way towards bringing my left hand to my right thigh and my right hand back behind my body. You should feel some stretching happening through the front of that left hip, maybe into the low back, for two more, one more, good, we're going to come back around, we're going to switch our feet, so now the left foot will be tucked in, the right foot will be behind. We're going to bring that right hand this time to the uh, top of our left thigh as we rotate around. Not uncommon to have more range of motion in one direction or the other. Still using your abs. For three, for two, for one, beautiful. And now we're here on this side to go into pigeon. So extend that right leg now, come back around. So now your left is crossed in front. Remember, stay up tall, drop down on elbows, or all the way down onto your forehead. Breathe. Three big, deep, long breaths. Often 
oftentimes people don't spend enough time holding the stretches or if we're or rolling, doing the rolling, for the body to actually have a neurological response. So make sure you're taking your time when you're stretching and or foam rolling. One last big breath. Beautiful. Gently walk yourself up. Uncross that left leg. We are going to go into our calf stretch now. So go ahead, go into a straight arm plank. We're going to pipe high into the sky, dropping that left heel down, placing our right foot on top of it for a little added pressure, stretching out the calf. Good, and switch to the other side, dropping that right heel down, adding a little added weight and pressure by applying the left foot on top. For three, for two, for one. From there, I want you to step your left foot towards your right or I mean for your left hand between your right and left hand. And you're going to drop your uh, right knee to the ground. Depending on your surface, you might need to roll your mat or put a towel underneath of it. But from here, we are going to raise our right hand high into the sky and I'm going to physically try to reach my ceiling while gluing my knee down to the ground, stretching out that psoas, stretching out that hip flexor. Beautiful. Thinking about kind of rotating, not rotating, but pressing my right hip as forward as possible, keeping it squared forward. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Bring that hand down, switch your feet. So right foot in front this time, left hand reaching high into the sky. Beautiful. Abs are slightly engaged. Reach a little bit higher. For three, for two, for one. Awesome. Bring it back down onto your knees. We're going to do a little bit for those wrists since we did a lot of planking today. So go ahead and start with just rolling the wrists. We're going to go in one direction and then switch. Good. Go ahead and place palms down, fingertips back towards you. You're going to sit back onto your heels or as close as you can while maintaining your palms connected to the floor. You can get a forearm stretch. In addition to this helping us out because we've been planking, this is great for anybody who's been typing a lot. Hang out here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep fingertips pointing towards you, but just flip over so the tops of your hands are now uh, on the ground and your palms are facing towards you. Keep the heel of that hand, the top near the wrist, touching the ground as you keep leaning back. For three, for two, for one. Awesome. Come to a seated position. From that seated position, go ahead and sit on your right hand. Sitting on your right hand, you're going to drop your left ear towards your uh, left shoulder. Using your left hand, 
just as weight, do not pull. It's just gonna add a little extra. We're gonna stretch out through the neck and through the trap. Breathe. For five, four, three, two, one, and the other side, sitting on that left hand, dropping your right shoulder, your right ear to your right shoulder, applying a little pressure from that right hand, stretching it out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you so much for joining.